Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. When you venture into the swamp, you better be ready to play. Ben Hill Griffin Stadium in Gainesville, Florida, one of the most intimidating venues in all of college football. But these guys appear to be loose. They're ready to go, and so are we. Kickoff not far away in Gainesville. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. home fields in college football, this place certainly comes to mind. It's Ben Hill Griffin Stadium at the University of Florida, and it's as loud as ever. And now let's head down to the coin toss. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. See how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. And this season is officially underway. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 29-yard line. The Gators have a new head man. New theories, new hopes, new dreams. Will there be new wins? We'll find out. Quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Mike three. Mike three. Yeah. Yeah. Nice run, and he's brought down. Taylor gains about four yards on the play. That makes it second and six. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 33. He's tackled at the 41 yard line. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Uh, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. From their own 41 yard line. It's first down. Throws it in a hurry. And he's taken down at the 48. his way to the 43-yard line. From the 43-yard line, first down. Slings it, and down he goes at the 35-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. From the 35-yard line, second down. On 
Play action under heavy pressure. Quick throw, and he's tackled at the 20-yard line. You know, I talked to so many college quarterbacks who have gone on to be very successful in the NFL, and they all talk about the execution of the play action. And all of them talk about the good ones, about taking their time and really working to sell the play action and sell the fake. If you don't take the time as a quarterback to really sell the fake, it's going to make it easy on the linebackers and safeties to realize that that was just a fake handoff and to get back in position. But when you really work it and sell it the way that quarterback did right there, that's when it's more effective. It can open up the big play. From the 20-yard line, it's second down. Incomplete. Boy, would he like to have that one back. Yeah, you're right. This offense relies so much on timing. And as you saw there, when their timing gets knocked off, they have a tough time connecting on plays like this. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 20. They come out in a five-wide set. Mike three, Mike three. Makes the grab, and he's got the first. There's a very impressive open field tackle. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Screenplay. Touchdown, Gators! It's really hard to defend the pass with your back to the end zone. It can also be difficult for an offense because the field tightens up. It was a nice play. Tacks on the extra point. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. The Horn Frogs were ranked number two. After that performance, how far will they fall? And for Minnesota, they grab a W in the season opener. The Golden Gophers get the two touchdown victory. In another game, the Bulldogs were ranked ninth in the country. After that performance, I think we all see why. And for Georgia, their season starts with a win. The dogs get the victory. 27-6. You can never overlook any team any week in college football. Wow. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. They'll bring him down at the 16-yard line. The offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Tackle at the 15. The option is all about timing, and on that play, the timing was just off. That's going to happen sometimes. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 15-yard line. And now he's got room to run. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. They can't hear a thing down there. Tackled after a decent pickup. That's a seven-yard gain for the halfback on the running play. That's a good call going with the draw there. It put just enough pause in the defense to allow a good game. Now he tries to buy some time, and he's sacked. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. Their own 
27 yard line. It's second down. to the tight end. He's taken down at the 30-yard line. Always a noisy place to play and tough on the offense. Would have been a big play by the defense. He can't hold it. Hogan was the intended receiver on the play. So that'll make it fourth down. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. Davidson is the punter. It's away. Short punt. came up with a touchdown on their last drive, and they'll be hoping for another six on the board here. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack a defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job of being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the line. The quarterback really took a shot after the play, and I'll bet that's what this flag is for. And the defense gives up some free down. yards to the offense. Uh, you know, penalties can ruin a team's chances to win if they commit too many. First and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. Florida is up seven. Fires out quickly to the tailback. Tackle made at the 10-yard line. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. He's scrambling, room around the corner, and they push him out right around the six-yard line. That's another first down, Brad, and right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs is pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. Gets to about the five-yard line. They're at the five. Second down. Mike three. Mike three. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That makes his Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line D. To the running back and he gets nowhere we played one quarter florida leads seven nothing back to the action now here in the second quarter Kicks away. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? The Tigers came into the game ranked seven. They're now bungee jumping, and the cord's going to break. The upset is complete. The Cardinals pull it off by a single. In other action, the Razorbacks were ranked 20th. That performance showed that they are capable of moving much higher. And for Arkansas, they start the season with a victory. The Razorbacks get the W, 24-19. Wow, you can feel the shockwave caused by that upset all the way to our game. 
In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Tries to scramble, but he's sacked. Looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. away the pass. Davidson to punt. It's a short kick. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Florida is up a score. Quick release, tight end, incomplete. And he let his receiver a little too much. One of the things you look for when you have a young quarterback is how he releases the football. Here you can see he releases the ball a little bit early, a sign that he wasn't completely comfortable with what he was seeing. From the 34-yard line, second down. Around the 38-yard line. Third down, and they need to get it to the 24. the stop at the 16. Good job here by the receiver. Look the ball in and ensure he has possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 16. From the 11 yard line, second down. Florida is up by a touchdown. He gets out to about the nine yard line. That makes it third and three. Decent run up the gut. 
Looking to go up two touchdowns. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. From the 12-yard line, it's second down. Mike three. Mike three. Fires quick. Tipped. That's what the defensive back coach likes to see. His kids reacting when the ball is in the air and then making the play. This is the ninth play of this drive. Florida up seven points and here's a quick throw and it's going the other way it's the senior corner personal foul roughing the passer defense this was just an unnecessary hit he should have been disciplined for a play like that And smell the end zone as they look to extend this lead. Mike three, Mike three. Tumble, tumble, tumble. And he stopped behind the line. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. From the eight yard line. It's second down. Mike three. Mike three. Out of the ball. Out of the ball. Got his tight end touchdown. He makes the PAT. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese, let's check in on the action in Lincoln. And for Nebraska, they grab a W in the season opener. The Cornhuskers grab the win, 31-28. 14 to nothing in this one, Reese. Harden has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. From his own goal line, he's to the 20. He's taken down at the 24. Their last drive ended in a punch, so this quarterback's gonna be looking for something better on this drive. Scramble. And down he goes at the 31-yard line. Seven-yard pickup on the scramble by the quarterback. New Mexico State will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Throws, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. Accuracy is such a vital part of being a quarterback. 
You've got to have an ability to lay the ball right into your guy's hands. Really a tough spot for an offense to be in against this crowd in this stadium. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Scrambling around, and he's going to come up with a sack. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback with his offensive linemen have after that. Quick release. Oh, had it knocked down. Great reaction to get his hands in the way of that pass. That's not an easy play to make. Third down again. You expect this every time you're here, and you're never disappointed. This crowd is amazing. He wants it all going long. This one will fall incomplete. They're going to be forced to punt it away here. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on a pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. Davidson is waiting for the snap. Didn't get all of that one. The Gators are just cruising through this first half, Herbie. Really a comfortable lead here. Yep, but still a lot of football left to be played. they got to remember that it's a four-quarter game, and even though that first half went pretty well, things can change in a hurry. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. Well, I think this defense has got to do something because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure. Try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. From their own 42-yard line. Second down. The junior makes the catch. They'll bring him down right around the 34. Splits the uprights with the extra point. So a short three-play, 58-yard drive. And the result, seven points. They line up to kick this one away. He'll return it from the one. Oh, what a hit. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Catches it, and he's looking for more. The 50. Tackle at the 41. That's just a great call by the coordinator there going to the air on first down. So the Aggies use their second timeout. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and 10. Yeah, let's get second down. Quick 
throw to the back. It's incomplete. Slings it, and he's tackled at the 36. I like that they're completing these underneath routes because pretty soon the defense is going to start to cheat up. And that's when the quarterback will have his chance to go over the top for the big play. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. So they're going to go for it here. Let's see if a quarterback heaves it up there and one of his guys can come down with it. This one's going deep to the end zone. The quarterback really took a shot after the play, and I'll bet that's what this flag is for. Foul, roughing, roughing the passer, passer defense. defense. Still, Still first, first down. down. From the 21-yard line, it's first down. So we'll probably get one last heave to the end zone here before halftime. Going over the middle, intercepted. So at the end of the half, the Gators lead 21-0. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Not that we're rooting one way or the other for this game to come out with either team winning. But what a treat it is to see the maturity and the discipline and the focus of this squad to come out and perform to the level that they have. Yeah, because it's not something that, that we can always put our finger on. You know, we sometimes people come out flat and you talk to coaches and coaches are like, we had them ready to play. We Everything was just like we thought it was and just like it was normally. We had a great week of practice. How many times do you hear that? But sometimes it doesn't translate. So it's good to see a team that's mature enough that comes out takes care of business, leaves no doubt, wipes away the opponent's hope in the first half, come out the second half, get some PT for the younger guys, the backups. You sit on the bench, chill out a little bit. You can even take a peek at the cheerleaders sometimes during timeouts. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver All right, Reese Davis, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 24-yard line. The Gators continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. They'll spread the field with five wide. Out of bounds at about the 27-yard line. That makes it second and six. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Oh, he dropped it. Well, 
Third down, six to go. Ball on the 27. Trying to make it hard to hear, and the defense urging the crowd to get to their feet. Throws it in a hurry, and he's tackled right away. He's at midfield, and he's shoved out of bounds around the 46-yard line. The sub package in there defensively in this five wide receiver set. Quick strike to the receiver, and he's taken down around the 37 yard line. That'll make it 31. They'll line it up again on third down. Knocked out of bounds at the 30. They've obviously found a formula for moving the ball against this defense. Let's see if any adjustments are made before their backs are really against the wall. Pressure got to him, and he put it on the ground. He picks it up. He's taken down around the 30-yard line. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. So the Aggies saw one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the action. Now he's scrambling. Slides down. Just throws this one away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Check three, check three, check three. And it looks like they might be bringing some pressure here. Pressured and brought down. The defense holds, and the ball will change hands. Great play there by the D. It's early in the season, but they showed they don't get rattled at all. I give them a lot of credit. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Mike three. Mike three. Set. Check, check. Eight. Eight. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's a D of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Field. He makes his way to about the 45. The reason why it's so crucial to be able to run effectively like this is it keeps the defense guessing. They have no idea whether you're passing or running, even if you need medium to long range yards. Yeah, 
First and ten. Ball on the 45. Tackle made at the 34. to get the first here on second down. And he's immediately tackled. It's second and six. Ball on the 19. From the 14 yard line. Second down. Looking for six, and he got it. Touchdown. You've got to give each of these guys credit for getting in sync, really fighting to create that touchdown. He makes the PAT, a nine-play, 68-yard drive, and they put up seven points. So the score now, 28-0. Florida, ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He gets out to about the 18-yard line. New Mexico State's getting stopped right now. They're unable to get anything going here in the third quarter. Well, I think what they have to do at this point is they've got to get into a little bit more of a hurry-up mode, a little bit more urgency, score, and hope that the defense can come up with a stop and hope you can get the ball back and put more points up. Not a whole lot's been working for them so far. They should just come out and play loose and easy because they've got nothing to lose. Makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. And they get stopped after a short game. Yeah, the quarterback better get these guys to the line of scrimmage and hurry up. Throws and it's incomplete. from their own 20-yard line. Third down. Quick pass. They'll bring 
bring him down for a loss on the play. They got to the quarterback a little late there. Personal foul. Roughing the passer. Defense. Well, that's just too bad. They made the stop, but a flag is going to keep the chains moving. From their own 35-yard line, first down. Tries to buy some time. Tries to get around the corner. And a quick throw. And he tackles him hard at the 47-yard line. That's good for a game of 10 yards. That makes it first and ten. Three down, three down. Mike three. Mike three. Without a monumental comeback in the fourth quarter, this one's over. The Gators lead 28-0. Not sure there's any hope for a comeback here in the fourth quarter, but Kirk and I are praying. He's on the run. Room around the corner. Here he goes. And he is drilled at the 29. That's good for being 18 yards. First down. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. This is the eighth play of this drive. Stays inbounds to make a nice catch. First and goal. Tackle right around the 14 yard line. And this is the 10th play of the drive. He's got the corner. Runs outside for a nice game. He passes it. What a pick! Brad, I'm all for continuing to fight, continuing to try to compete. But another interception, another miscue for this team? They're already getting blown out. They've got no chance to get back in the game. First down. They're deep in their own territory. Florida looking to build on this commanding lead here. And down he goes at the eight yard line. That makes it second and two.
brings it. They'll bring him down at about the 19-yard line. The quarterback really took a shot after the play, and I'll bet that's what this flag is for. The officials have gotten really serious about hits like this. I think it's good for the game that they're doing such a good job of protecting the quarterbacks. From their own 34-yard line, it's first down. Let's it fly. That close to being intercepted. There's a flag down in the backfield, but I didn't see what happened. Personal foul, foul. Roughing, roughing the passer, passer. Defense. defense. The officials are keeping a closer eye on hits to the quarterback, so you've got to be careful that it's timed right and that it's clean. And if you really hit him hard, you can easily draw the personal foul. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 49. Zero, zero, Mike three. And he's tackled at the 48. That makes it second and six. Florida comes to the line holding that commanding lead. And he carries the ball for a nice game. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. They make the stop at the 40. Here's the eighth play of the series. Around the 38-yard line. That makes it second and eight. It's second and eight. Ball on the 38-yard line. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. the 10th play of this drive. He laterals, heading for the corner. That goal after a decent pickup. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. Just under two to go in the game. Fires that quickly to the tailback. Brought down at about the 21. We're at the 12th play of the drive. it to the eight. He's got himself a 100-yard rushing performance. Sometimes guys will look a little rusty or not too sharp in the opening week, but he looks like he's got his rhythm today. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Gets 
to about the five yard line. And this is the 14th play of the drive. Run up the middle. the uprights with the extra point. So a 12-play, 88-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Harden has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Morgan from the one. Gets out to about the 21. Yeah, they're dialing up some good blitzes, disguising them very well. Great job by the defense tonight, getting into the backfield and creating issues for this line. All the good plays from this defense has helped them into the lead. Late in the fourth quarter, this game's not even close. It's a blowout. A lot of folks have already gone home, and Herbie, I think we're going to make our dinner reservation. He's taken down at about the 17-yard line. to go. Ball on the 17. And this one comes to an end. Our final count in this game, Florida 35, New Mexico State nothing. So that wraps things up for us for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.